What's up guys? Today's opening. Got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Crystal Beast structure deck. Pretty excited for this. I don't open too much Yu-Gi-Oh! on this channel. I like... I mean, I don't play the game. I follow it lightly. I used to play it a lot, so... I always follow it out of kind of a... Almost obligation. Nostalgia kind of thing. But uh, Crystal Beasts, this suckered me in with that. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Crystal Beasts set. Um, I, that was like my main deck back when I... Back when I was most active in this game, I played Crystal Beast the most. Um, I think that was around the 2010 era. Which, I mean, they weren't good back then. But I was, like, the Crystal Beast guy. And, uh, yeah, they suckered me in with this structure deck. Comes with a big list of things here. And uh, I also bought a booster box of the newest um, Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge set. Because it features a lot of the Advanced Crystal Beasts, which are, like, the Dark ones. Which were never released before, I'm pretty sure. I think they only released the Field Card Advanced Dark. And that one they released way back a while ago. Like, I was around when that happened. Uh, what was this? Big list of things to upgrade your structure deck, yada yada. Backside, it's a pretty cool. I mean, it's a paper playmat, so I'm not going to use it, but it's cool. It looks nice. Good art. I would, if this was a real playmat, I would definitely buy this art without this big logo, obviously. But Crystal Beasts, nice. Uh, I think this is a new boss monster, it's like Over Dragon or something like that. I, uh, again, I lightly follow Yu Gi Oh! I used to follow it a lot more, but I still follow it. So I kind of know it's in this deck, but not like 100% ish. Or at the very least, I'm aware of what came out in JP before. So this is either what I'm thinking of, or it's like a new thing past that. All right. It always, I always forget how small Yu-Gi-Oh cards are compared to uh, standard size card games, which is funny because they have the most texts. Like, like look at this. I mean, I know everyone always makes fun of Yu-Gi-Oh for having such small words, but it gets way smaller than this, folks. So we got Ultra Rares, we got Rainbow Dragon, classic card. They, it's not Narada, but it's like a new text, so now it also counts, it always counts as an ultimate crystal monster, because in Japanese, like, that mattered, and they just didn't translate it correctly the first time. Uh, I'm not going to read it. Oh, this is the card that was on the paper playmat. Ultimate Crystal, ultimate crystal Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. So I think that's different. There, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. This is the one I was familiar with, Rainbow Overdragon. But I guess there's like a new one on top of it. This guy. Uh, sounds really strong to me. I don't know. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh's nuts now. So I don't know what's strong. It seems good. From my 20... I think the last time I really kept up the game was like 2017. So for my 2017 eyes, it seems crazy. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. A new Crystal Beast, folks. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. It's an 8-star normal monster. 8-star yeah. monster. By normal, I mean like non-fusion link whatever oh wow so it's an actual crystal beast monster cool We've got rainbow bridge of the heart is rainbow bridge the i think normal rainbow bridge is the the, the spell that adds a card in your hand it's like a free tutor um this one is a continuous so that's interesting because <clears throat> at least back when i played crystal beast you did not want things clogging your spell trap zone that were not crystal beast so Interesting. Crystal Bond. This is an awesome card. I uh, I know this came out in, was it Legends of Millennium Eyes Restrict or something? I don't know. That Millennium Eyes Restrict set. This what came out in that. And I almost bought this, just like a collector's thing. And it was like 30, 30 dollars. I think this was 30 something. And Rainbow Bridge was 20 something. I'm like, I can't justify spending that much for a game I don't play. But uh, really cool to have this oh, an ultra rare reprint. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I'm shocked there's so many um, foils in this. I guess I'm used to Weiss mostly where you only get two foils. So this is cool to see. You get five Ultras and I don't know how many Supers. Five Ultra Rares. Crystal Bond. Very nice. Uh, this is the Super Rare. You got Rainbow Over Dragon. Cool. This is a re-release. You got tokens. You got Jesse Anderson token. I actually have um, sealed booster packs. Not too many, but I have some sealed booster packs of the Jesse Duelist pack jesse anderson or something yeah this is a cool art and you get a jesse and ruby token all right cool i don't know why they chose ruby specifically i mean it is the second best one after sapphire but uh hmm. cool probably because it's the smallest it fits right in front of them like that nice you got some tokens and uh super rare and uh these are the rest of the cards you got ruby carbuncle and one of each i'm guessing you know or five, six, seven. I'm kind of shocked they don't give three copies of Sapphire Pegasus, but maybe that's how Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure decks are. Maybe they don't give multiples. 
it's been a while so i don't really remember got rainbow dark dragon that was always a fun gimmicky card before i don't think it really fits with crystal beasts in a stack but maybe with all this new mar and stuff it does i don't know crystal master these are the pendulum cards that were released in japan a long time ago and then english didn't get them until well after they redid the master rules with the pendulum making them like much worse in crystal beasts because now they take up spell trap slots but maybe it's not an issue now. I'm not sure. I think they've been released before in English. I don't know, totally know, but it's cool to have them here, I guess. I, I never owned them before. Got Haman. This was in my... Oh, there's like a... I don't know. There's a little spot there on the bottom. Uh, Haman. I played this back in 2010, 2009. And, well, I never really used it. I mean, it was probably more of a brick in my deck than anything. But it was fun to have. Uh, Crystal Abundance won me more games. This has lost me more games, but uh, this is a, always a funny card. Dimension Shifter, that's a new card. New to me. Contact C, it's another one of those C cards. Ash Blossom, that's a... They've reprinted this card so many times, yet it has remained expensive. I don't understand why. Maybe it'll finally be cheap now. This is like the eighth time it's been reprinted or something like that. Ghost Bell. Awakening of the Crystal Ultimates. Uh... Again, I don't totally know it's a new card or not, but uh, if you want to read them, you can pause. I'm not going to waste everyone's time with that otherwise. Crystal Aegis, that's a cool card. These are new cards for sure, new to me. Ancient City, my favorite field spell. Like, by far my favorite field spell in the game. It's so cool. Uh, Rainbow Bridge, I'm kind of bummed this doesn't come as like a super rare at least, because that's what... It was either Super or Ultra in the original Millennium... Lost, Lost Millennium? Is that the set? But, uh, you know, it's cool. Good to finally have that. I think I'll, maybe I'll buy the foil if it's cheaper nowadays. Got Beacon, Blessing. Oh, what is this? There's like some dirt on the card or something. Sticky. It's weird. I, you saw me open this. It just came out of the pack. It's like weird. Anyway, you got Beacon, Blessing, Abundance. Another awesome card. This, this was my jam in 2010 again. Uh, Promise, Crystal Tree. Crystal Release. So I never played this card because back then I thought it was pretty junk, but apparently it's like a pretty good card now, somehow. Or like, I don't know about good, but it's it's like, it's worth worth running now. People consider it, which even back in 2010, it seemed awful to me. So I'm, I'm shocked. Rare Value. This is a good card. I had two of them in Ultimate Rare, Rarity. I still have them somewhere, but I was on that third copy. I never got it. Rainbow Refraction. That's new. Advanced Dark, this is the field spell. I think it was like a secret rare or ultimate rare before only in its original release. So that's cool to see. Um, I don't know why I would play this over the Ancient City, because Ancient City is so cool. But Melody of Awakening Dragons. Yeah, I never thought I'd see that in a Crystal Beast deck. But I guess it fits now. Foolish Burial Goods, that's a good reprint. Cosmic Cyclone, another good reprint. A uh, lot more trap cards than I expected to see. I thought Crystal Beast didn't run traps. Maybe now they do. I know a lot of the fusion monster ones are trap related. So this is new. Uh, Crystal Boon. Nice art. Crystal Miracle. I think that's new. This is new for sure. Definitely. That's an old card. That's a garbage card. <laughs> Even back then I didn't run it. Crystal Conclave. This is the... Um... I think this came out before. Yeah. This one and this one came out before. This is the one that just cheats out the ultimate super dragon boss guy. Which I guess now is like the mid boss. Now there's like a final boss. Counter gem. That's that's probably new. Ferret flames. Huh. Just a general good floodgate deck, I guess. Metaverse. Metaverse because I think terraforming's banned. Probably. Back when I played before, terraforming was unbanned. So I would run... I think I ran two and two. Two terraformings and two field spells. Crystal Beast Token. Ooh, these are nice. I kind of wish this came as ultra rare or super rare. But the Jesse tokens are cool too. And uh, an ad for Master Duel. There's Chaos Max Blue Eyes Dragon Monster thing. And a little thing. I guess I guess Yu-Gi-Oh comes with these now. So um, yeah, awesome. Really excited to have a structure deck. Um, I guess I should get a few more of them since it only comes with one copy of everything. But uh, yeah. Uh, I'll put some links in the description for where you can buy this product. Any questions, let me know in the comments. And I uh, hope this was interesting to you guys. Until uh, next time, have a good one.